I decided to run an experiment on my channel for 7 days. I called this experiment Operation Clickbait. If you're a fan of my channel, you may recall that I called my top 10 videos 10 things you didn't know about, from the time I started doing them in mid-March until early July. I stopped calling them that because one of them got taken down for having a misleading title. Never mind the fact that there's videos with that exact same fucking title with over a million views that's still up just fine. My video had 8,000 views when it got taken down. Gotta love YouTube, right? I changed my titles from 10 things you didn't know about to 10 things you might not know about in order to avoid future videos being taken down. That's what I called them from July until November 24th when I started Operation Clickbait. For 7 days, I changed the title and thumbnail for every Things You Might Not Know About video back to Things You Didn't Know About. For 7 days, that experiment ran, and it ended on December 1st. Before I get to the actual results of this experiment, I need to mention something. This is by no means a scientific experiment. There are many factors, other than the title and thumbnail, that are at play here. I also picked one of the worst possible times to run the experiment, during the week of Thanksgiving. Unfortunately, there wasn't really a better way for me to do this. That said, I do think that my results reflect how clickbait would work for most people. Now, onto the results. Okay, so basically, all I'm gonna do to sort of go over this thing is just show you my analytics and just sort of compare some things back and forth. So what you're looking at now, November 16th through the 23rd, is the previous week right here. This is the week where I ran the experiment, and this is the previous week. Luckily, uh, the way analytics work, I can show you a lot of the stats without having to jump back and forth. It's got some percentages. Some of them don't have it. Some categories don't, but most of them do, so that'll make this easy. So the first thing is just the general things, the things that are obvious. Views, watch time, and view duration. So first is obviously views. You can see that they are obviously up uh, 18, well, let's call it 19%, 2,500 compared to, let's just call that 8,000. I'll get into the specific videos in a minute, but they are up. They follow the same pattern for the most part. It's the same shape, sort of, with an upward curve, then a slight decline, then up, and then down. Upward curve. This one doesn't go down. It goes a little up, and then down. It's This one looks almost like it's a day late, or a day off, sort of, because it's going down here instead of here like this one was and I moved it up if you went back to here see a thousand one a thousand eight that one would be a decline too not a very big decline but uh, a decline nonetheless watch time pretty much the same thing in terms of the pattern except for that it's a much bigger drop off than this but sixteen thousand seven hundred twenty compared to 20,695, so a pretty big jump. 4,000 minutes, which, see that's a 23% increase, pretty big, uh, pretty noticeable. Average view duration, also up, not as much, only 4%, but that's interesting to me because when you think of clickbait, you generally think of shorter views, you know, people clicking on it and then clicking off uh, rather quickly, so it's surprising to me that it's up. I didn't think that was going to be up. I'm not sure if I'm going to show the exact amount for the total estimated earnings. I think I'll block that part out, but I will show the graph. Well, maybe. Probably. Fuck it. I'll just block out that number. If you really want to see how much I made these weeks, I guess, as I hover over it, you can add those up. So, while everything else is up, for the most part, the earnings are down, and... I have no explanation for that. I don't know why. Uh, December is generally a pretty good month for earnings because it's the holidays, a lot of uh, gaming ads because this is a gaming channel. And the the shape of it is also really different. It's a W, which is something. And that's, you know, same as that is to be expected. This one, I don't, uh, I don't know. 213 and... You know, that stuff. This is all pretty obvious. I mean, if you go look at the likes, the dislikes, the comments, shares, uh, playlists, and subscribers, those are up too. This one's up 40%. 
83%. That could be because of my Canadian asshole friend. Uh, friend, I use that term loosely. He is quite the asshole. Comments are down. That's kind of surprising, kind of not. They're down from 37. Shares are down. Videos and playlists are up. Subscribers are up 43%. So it's not like it's a general increase across the board, it's kind of randomized. This is up 23%, this is up 19%, 83%, and 40%. So I guess if I had to use one figure, I would say averaging around 30% increase across the board, which isn't bad. That's, all things considered, that's not bad. I will say I was sort of expecting it to be higher. I wasn't expecting like tens of thousands of views per day, but I was sort of expecting it to be higher than this. I mean, that's still averaging over a thousand views per day, which the only other time I had that happen was back in July. I was riding the high of the Fallout 4 hype train with my two Fallout Top 10 videos that were doing pretty well, gathering hundreds of views per day. This is the only other time period where I've had this sort of view thing, this view increase. So this is all the obvious stuff, um, I guess we'll just take a look at the top 10 videos. Should be pretty interesting. They are pretty much the same, I think. Let's try and get these lined up. So, I don't want to take the time to go through, look at all these. Um, you can see um, the differences that are uh, right off the bat. This one was rather low. It was number 1, 2, 3, 4, 12, 5. And it went down a couple from 313 to 259 i'm gonna have to edit this up a little bit so let's take a look at the top video we'll just go through these i guess uh let's do it by views just to make this a tiny bit easier on me because that's sort of the most important thing here at least in terms of clickbait if you're looking at clickbait you probably don't care too much about watch time i might block that out i don't know so what happens if you don't make devault 111 was the top video this one hasn't loaded yet, there it is. Top video during Operation Clickbait, this one, that one was gathering steam a little bit. It was up to around a thousand views here during this week, and I guess that just kept going. I wouldn't be surprised if that was still up pretty high in the weeks and months to come. Number two, 2014 MacBook Pro Gaming Tests, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, 853 up to... 904 so a little bit of an increase i didn't change that one though that is also worth mentioning this one i didn't change at all uh the only ones i changed were like this one uh that one that one the things that had things you don't know about or didn't know about i guess so that was up now what's next that one changed position the lone wanderer one that one is interesting 789 in the last week and it's up to 1239 that one was also gathering steam i guess i could say that about all of these but i think the change to didn't know about is a good change in terms of getting views if you go up here i'll just do it real quick if you go 10 things you didn't know about oh fuck doing this with one hand i don't have a mic stand oh uh, you can see there's a lot of these that are um, 10 things you didn't know about. If, but if you change it to might not know about, there are less results. They're more boring-ish, kind of. And if you search The Lone Wanderer on YouTube, this video, this one right there, that is uh, on page one. And I think if you search The Lone Wanderer on Google, it's in the top page for the videos. It doesn't display, you know, like the number one thing, but it is up there. And with the Fallout 4 hype still going around, that could explain that. Also, the clickbait could be in effect. These, this one right there, 2014 MacBook Air gaming test, that one still doing rather well all these months later. 687, still comfortably at around 735. Not a huge increase, that's pretty standard, just going up and down seven things you didn't know about noble six is up from four or up from 284 to 428 so that's a pretty big increase about 140 ish views 180 something like that 
That one is another one I think that contributed, that was helped greatly by Operation Clickbait. These two are, I mean, I don't need to go through them, they're kind of irrelevant. They're up or down, doesn't really matter. 10 Things We Didn't Know About Fall, that one is down considerably, considering that one has around 22,000 views at this time. It's down from 313. Not a huge decrease, but a decrease nonetheless. I don't think that had too much to do with the change in the title. I don't, I don't really know what that could have been from. I, I feel like the change from Might Not Know About to Didn't Know About would have been a good change in terms of getting the views. And the last one here is Mario. And that is nowhere to be seen here. And this one here, that one, still riding the coattails, that one got like 2,000 views in a day. So still doing pretty well and nowhere to be seen here. So things I would take away from this, I'm still going to go through some of these. But uh, a couple of these are not affected by the clickbait. One, two, three, four, five, six of them aren't. So only four of them are, and they are, for the most part, it looks like they're up. My phone is clicked on, so I have to kind of focus here. For the most part, they're up, though, I would say. And I'm not going to go through and look at all 30. I should, but these are, you know, the most popular ones. And I guess let's just real quick look at the watch time. I don't want to spend too long on this. It's already 12 minutes into this. This is longer than I thought. But watch time, that one was at seven fucking numbers. That one was at 1979, and it went up to 28.36, so a 400 view increase led to a almost 1000 minute increase. The average watch time for this video is around 2 minutes 14 seconds, I think. So that would be an expected change. For the most part, these are the same. This one is at 1044, and... Here it's at 687. The views and watch time are pretty much identical, I guess. These I'll just go through real quick. United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, Germany, same ones. Percentages are off a little bit. 55% compared to 60. 3, uh, fucking 9.3 compared to 8.4 and the rest are gonna alternate because of the percentages left. Male, 91% and 9.2 compared to 91, 9.2, same there. Uh, traffic source, oddly enough, even though I changed it to be more clickbaity to get on YouTube's good side, YouTube search is down, but suggested videos is up. I guess that makes sense. External is also down. I don't know where they're shared. Uh, Twitter, I don't think many views come from there, but kind of irrelevant. YouTube watch page, 100%. 100% as to be expected. So, I'm not going to go through all these traffic sources, devices. I don't think there's really any I want to look at. Watch time, I guess, would be good, though. Because watch time, I mean, in a general sense, it's up, but it would be good to see what video specifically. And I have already went through this. So, I'm not going to go through all these videos. That would take way too long. So, I'll just take a look at a few... Uh, the Mario one I wanted to see. Mario is where? 9.14 and it was at 6.36. So it is up quite a bit. And I can't sort by average view duration, but let's just take a look at a few of the more popular videos. The Lone Wanderer, 2.15, 2.17, up a little bit. Noble Six is at 2.26. 26 and it is uh, in the previous week 225 pretty much identical Mario 332 and here it is 332 so just looking at those three I'm not gonna go through all these and looking at the rest of the data this is already kind of lengthy it looks as though clickbait works it works this wasn't a like a very detailed experiment seven days isn't a huge amount of time if I done it like one month in one month that might have been better, I might do that in the future. I might let this just roll on for another three weeks and basically compare November to December. I might do that, I'm not sure. But I can safely say that clickbait works. And one of the risks that I've noticed, because it happened with one of my videos, is it could be considered misleading, especially with the videos I make. 10 Things You Didn't Know About Fallout New Vegas, that video got taken down for being misleading. 
is that worth the risk of the extra views? You know, say using a clickbaity title gets 20% more views. Is that worth the risk of it getting taken down down the road? That's only happened with one of 35-ish top 10 videos, but I don't want that to happen to any of my other videos. So, I guess that concludes it. Just say it again, clickbait does work. One thing that is interesting though, I didn't use like super extreme clickbait. Like I didn't, those other examples I mentioned of like putting tits in your thumbnail or putting like Call of Duty fucking sucks as the title of a podcast, for example. Or, you know, saying like, um, just because it's current, San Bernardino shooting raw video or San Bernardino murders and I put like a dead body in the thumbnail and one would assume that that would be footage of the shooter shooting happening but instead it's just me sitting in front of a fireplace drinking a bottle of champagne talking about it that would be clickbait and I would imagine that a video would be heavily disliked one because that's not the videos I make and two because it's clickbait bullshit and I won't compromise myself like that it's not worth that the 10 things you didn't know about, that's about as far as I'll go with clickbait. For the most part, when I first uploaded it for the first hour, so that was more stylized, it was like, what happens if you don't make it to vote 111? And you can see that is capitalized. Sort of, maybe clickbaity, but I mean, it's just showing what happens literally if you don't get to vote 111. It's not like some stupidly editorialized title, Call of Duty is the worst game ever made, and it's just me giving my opinion on Black Ops 3. I don't know. This was an experiment. The results were as I expected. This video has gone on for far too long. Let's just take a look. 19 minutes, and this is just going over analytics. I'll have to clean this up a little bit. I had a few audio flubs here and there, as is the norm. So, if you learned anything about clickbait, if you didn't like this video, if you have comments or suggestions, you know what to do. There are buttons and text boxes for the appropriate responses and whatever. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.